right guys welcome to this week's episode of full throttle welcome and if you're new around here yes i try and do these every week so let's get into this first off we have the um sports classic class the rapid gt now i will start off with saying that this is my own personal opinion i'm not saying this is fact that these are best i'm just this is what I like to use. Sports Classic Class, we have the Rapid GT. Um, it's quite quick, considering it's Sport Classic. Um, it does have quite a few understeers at going at high speed. As you can see from the gameplay, the snow doesn't really help. But um, normal, it does. You can control it once you get used to it but if you're first time driving it at a high speed fully upgraded you are going to notice a bit of spinach bit of spinach bit of spin and sliding about um, sounds lovely style probably one of my favorite best looking cars in the game um, uh, but it's it's quick sports classic Kind of slippery, lot of under, not a lot of understeer, but it is noticeable. Um, all of these cars are in the gameplay are stock, um, <clears throat> so there's not going to be any very fast, um, fast-paced time lapse. I'm not going to be timing these because I didn't start them as you can, as you'll see. I'm not starting them as normal. I would have used the Krieger. For this one but I couldn't for some reason get a stock version of the Krieger for some reason I don't know why but for some reason it wouldn't work so but I would have normally picked the Krieger but if you're looking for a second best then I would have to say the Devastate 8 good control from stock anyway as well snow again doesn't help showing that um, the steering is a bit if you don't do it right well, if you get tight turns, the steering, there's a lot of, there's quite a bit of understeer. Um, but most races you're going to do are going to be stunt races, and there's not very, there's not tight turns on the stunt races, so you haven't got to worry about that too much. Um, but upgraded, it does help with the understeer, it kind of gets rid of it a little. Um, but it's very, it's quick. It's still one of the the one of the fastest out there. Um, still puts up some good competition if you know how to drive it. So that's the um, supercar Devastate Eight. Next we have the sports class, um, and I have chosen the Itali GTO for this one. Um, now it has got the suspension thing where if you go over bumps it speeds it up um, side note if you're going to use a car for the achieve highest top speed random um, free mode event use the Itali GTO because I can get it up to I think I got it up to 174 once um, so it's good for getting high speed. It is because of the bouncing. It does make it quite difficult to drive. Um, but what I will explain in a separate video is um, how you should go around some of the racetracks um, in controlling and the quickest way possible. Um, <clears throat> I'll be doing that in a separate video. Um, but I'll give you a sneak peek on that. Basically, don't use the brake so much if you're going to be racing in this. Um, but no, the Italia GTO, bit slippery as well. A lot of bouncing, but good high speed. If you can control that bouncing, that high speed is going to be a great benefit. Uh, next up, we've got the off-road class. Um, now, these are going to be the cars. We're going to do bikes another day. Um, the best off-road car that I've found so far is the trophy truck now with the the high the very high raised um, appearance that it has it's very good at not feeling many bumps 
um, and also it also means the suspension is going to be very good and then landings on them stunt races are going to be very soft and you're just going to be able to get going again just like that you ain't going to have to worry about having to accelerate get the speed back again um, the control is amazing especially when you're going along the um, like the grassy areas just outside of Los Santos few bumpy bits but this thing just hops along it like skimming a stone across a lake this thing is very good at what it does and its purpose it excels at it it is amazing at what it's meant to do the speed also is not it's not that bad the speed is pretty good um, it does have its advantages against dirt bikes but also its disadvantages because it can't do wheelies and it can't do all that speed uh, but we'll get to the secrets of getting decent speed off of uh, motorcycles when we do the bikes. Uh, probably next week, depending on what car that is released. Um, and then for the muscle class, we have the click. I think you call it the click. Um, which, yeah, the click. Um, now, most people, there is a bit, there's a lot of different choices that you can have for a muscle car for races um, but the click is um, it's I think it's better because the what's it called oh the not dominator the dodge charger one I can't remember what it's called the Dukes Duke of Death that one um, it's good, it's fun, it's fast, um, it's steering's a bit heavy, but the click, again, also, it's got a bit of heavy steering, but I've used it in races, and I've always won using it against them, and there's always like, quite a few. Um, but next up, no, that's it, isn't it? Got a bit ahead of myself there. Um, but no, those are, how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five. Those are the five cars that I personally use, like I said at the beginning, this isn't fact, I'm only doing this, um, this is my own personal preference of it, I'm not saying this is fact, but yeah, so those are my picks for the um, top, um, top cars to use for the classes of races, so hopefully this guys help you, this helps you out a bit, in finding the car that is right for you and I will see you next week depending on what gets released and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.